below. And last I was showing was uh, uh, this dude was dancing well. And uh, yo. The other thing that I wanted to show was if we go into our plugins and I want to look for Apple. Apple R kit, activate that. Apple R kit face support, activate that. Another one you want to do. Curve. Live link curve debugger. Alright, click that one as well. And get rid of that. We also want the MetaHuman STK. Alright, click that. Now that we are into here, I'm just wondering if I should toolkit. Um, actually, I might activate that one as well. Click yes and sorry. Here. Now, closing that off. Going up to a little friend, Sharif. And we can, uh, as the video, part of the video is showing you going into your iPhone and making sure that in uh, here, click your properties and that'll list your IP address and you put the same IP address. You have to be on Wi-Fi. Right? So I actually have a hotspot on my phone and I Wi-Fi my computer to it and then I Wi-Fi my iPhone to it. Okay, so this is the Live Link app and as you're looking into it, um, once you go up into here and then go into uh, these settings here, uh, you will have to, um, that's basically where you put the IP code if you want to do a Live Link. Yeah, no. uh, going into my Live Link face, I've got it activated then John's phone comes up and yeah baby he's actually dancing now and he's actually talking and animating for my face you see so he's now doing an eye clone motion right I am now doing an eye clone motion I haven't even pushed play right and uh, because it's so awesome because you see it's got him working I didn't realize that yeah so there you go that's how easy it is to hook up live link to a meta human and uh, yeah have a, you know doing all that but that's not all, not all, that's not all. There's so much more to go with lip syncing and different things. Hope you've enjoyed that little tutorial, thank you.